Go out, live your life, travel. Don't get married, don't have kids. Tri fill up your passport, do all of that stuff. What's going on people on the internet? Today, we're gonna jump into the topic of long-term wealth and long-term success because I see some things out there that are creating problems for anyone who is looking for cohesive and relevant information on building wealth. First thing we're gonna start with is when you go to Google Trends and you look up how to develop wealth, very few people are looking for that trend. Very few people are using those keywords. The big search term is how to become rich. A big part of wealth is not what you have, it's what you produce and what you own that produces stuff. Let's go ahead with the classification of rich. We'll go with entertainers, athletes. We're not gonna talk about business people, or maybe a few CEOs who are in the position that they get huge sums of money very quickly. That's rich, and that's what a lot of people wanna do. Now, who are the people that are providing these large sums of money for these entertainers, these CEOs, the business owners? Those folks are wealthy. And many folks, more folks are looking for information on how to become rich, which is more talent-based than anything, tools, processes, and protocols and blueprints to becoming wealthy. And I really thought about that and I was like, ah, this is why there's so many of these questions because there are many uninformed, maybe I shouldn't even say that, there are so many people who are bombarded with, you can become rich quickly. You hear it all over the place, it's on YouTube, it's on Facebook, it's on Instagram. It's always these stories of, six months ago or a few years ago i was just like you now i'm rich and really the ones where it's like a few years ago those are kind of rare it's usually six months uh there was a book six months to a hundred thousand dollars and i think it did really well and the owner or the writer of that book still couldn't find nothing out about him now the high school picture or nothing it's just like he dropped on the planet uh, from space or something and you you get that over and over and over and over again when you have so many signals talking about the same thing that just keep repeating this, that people start to become programmed that that's the way that you do it. You know, they're in this dripping with desire on how to get rich quickly instead of build wealth. Now I'm gonna give you an example of this. Let's say you got Farmer Brown. I know, right, Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown has 250 acres. Farmer Brown has 150 heads of cattle. Farmer Brown owns the 250 acres outright, owns the house outright, owns the cows which produce milk and produce beef, owns everything. You got NFL running back, or you have this NBA point guard, or you have this really up and coming flashy CEO. Everybody would say, I don't want to be Farmer Brown. Mm -mm. I, you know, out there in the country, some houses, acres, and some cows. And I'm, I'm not trying to be that. I'm trying to be like that, that wide receiver. I'm trying to be like that running back. I'm trying to be like a CEO because see, it looks good. Now, here's the thing. Farmer Brown, that land has been in the family for generations. None of Farmer Brown kids have to work jobs they don't want. If they're working outside the family business, it's because they choose to. You've got the NFL people, the running back, the wide receiver, the CEO, they hit hard times or they get hurt or their performance isn't up to snuff. That CEO is gone. That running back is gone. That wide receiver is gone, right? But Farmer Brown and those cows still producing money, still producing milk, still producing beef. Farmer Brown is more wealthy than those other folks who have the tools because of the high income to develop wealth, but because if anything happens, their athletic skills, anything happens to their business acumen, they're out. All of a sudden can find themselves being very normal people again in terms of finance. You wanna be Farmer Brown. Right now there's this big thing with minimalism, uh, this big thing with freedom. I don't wanna own anything, I just wanna make a lot of money and be free to do whatever I want. Which if you're 16 to 25, I feel you. You know, maybe 16 to 27, 28, I feel you. At that age, that's the time to do these things. Travel, I encourage people, do these things. Make this stuff happen. Go out there and live your life, right? I'm all with that. However, as you become 
more seasoned, the things that entertain you, the things that you like change. While you're out here running away from responsibility, let's go back to Farmer Brown, there's 250 acres in the family for years, you're not building anything to take care of you and you're not building anything to take care of anyone else in the future. This is why we as a society have so many problems. We have too many people who are on short-term thinking cancer. Um, how can I get the most, being the most efficient, the quickest way possible so I can do something else even though I don't know what I want to do. I'm just out here trying to get money. I'm not trying to serve my community. I'm not trying to serve the world. I'm not even trying to solve problems. I just want to get paid. You have so many people like that. And these people are becoming very frustrated because the myth of fast success, the myth, the myth of becoming very wealthy, rich, with little to no effort. When you research the billionaire families, you'll see that a lot of this money is generational. Very few of the billionaires on the list just came out came out in the last 10 years i know you want to you want to think that yeah you know 10, from zero to a billionaire in 10 years uh jeff bezos billionaire right how old is amazon.com amazon.com is 23 years old it's two decades into its third it didn't happen yesterday it didn't happen last year it didn't happen last decade this has been going on for a minute when you tell people that they're like oh, no, 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 no. i mean you know uh, he's really rolling he's been working on this for a long time. And that, that's the message to you. If you're young, go out, live your life, travel, don't get married, don't have kids, trip, fill up your passport, do all of that stuff, right? And make sure that you also put together some seeds for the future. You wanna put together some things that are going to be able to take care of you when you're not so young and spry. This is the fallacy that I see many internet entrepreneurs making. Many. I don't own nothing, I don't have anything. I'm not trying to own anything. I'm not trying to have any responsibility. I am just trying to live, have fun. It's gonna catch up with you. And one of the reasons that I have changed the content of this channel is I want to be part of the solution. I want to be, I want to do for you what I did for myself as much as I can because you got to do the work. But I'm away from the short term thinking, I'm away from the short term programs, I'm away from the short term everything because we're about to go through this huge correction economic ecosystem. For those who are prepared, you will get the foundations to do some amazing and wonderful things in the future for yourself and for your kids. Now, another part of this is the lack of family. Now, I'm about to get real preachy, so hold on. If you're not doing something for someone other than yourself, you're going to end up by yourself living by yourself, doing by yourself, and lonely as hell. This is what it's gonna be, right? This is how it's gonna be. And I, I see this whole thing, like in Japan. I think the United States of America is heading to where Japan is, which is they're not building families. Uh, couples are not getting married. Women have no desire to get married. Uh, you, you've got people living in the man boo, which is like these internet cyber cafes, you got folks up there living in these little silos because they don't know how to relate and deal with people because it's been all about them and what they wanted and how they wanted to live. If you do not learn how to deal with other people on all levels, on the business level, on the personal level, uh, you are going to be hurt. And that's where a lot of the stuff is going. And that's what I'm saying. I'm being preachy because path to long-term wealth is to have a goal that's 30, 40, 50, 60 years out, which means that your goal must be picked up by people who will come after you, which means there's a different way of thinking. It's a, it's a different paradigm. It's a, it's a whole different thing because if you want to be part of what I call the quick rich set, you will have temporary happiness and temporary wealth. I am watching some
some of my internet 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 marketing peers and I'm looking at the moves they're making. Now, the big thing right now is to create a Shopify store. And the big thing is to buy Facebook ads and to find some niche and you can hammer these people with these ads to get them to buy a t-shirt or a mug or something. I, I give that another year before it's completely played. Why I go here with that is if you had something of substance, something that was a bigger foundational thing, such as long-term wealth, you know, uh, building a business that's gonna, you know, do things for your kids, uh, your community, then you would not have all of this short-term thinking and short-term tactics because one of the things I see, and I'm usually five to seven years ahead of everyone else, is where things are going. Everyone's gonna follow the same blueprint. Everyone's gonna follow the same short-term level, short-term thinking processes, right? And then they're gonna get these diminishing returns. Like, once again, Shopify is just a tool, but then Facebook is just a tool. But you're gonna have people wearing these tools out. There is something called a threshold. I don't know where it is, but I feel that we're gonna hit it. And all those folks who are building their businesses on these short-term tactics are going to perish. And when I went back to the, you know, the other internet marketers, there's very few people that I see talking about the same thing they were talking about when they started. Money A to Z with self-storage unit auctions was a business blueprint. Many people bought that book and got benefit who were not in storage auctions. How I've delivered this has changed, but the core message is to start your own business, manage your money, learn how to hustle, increase your income. All of that stuff's the same. And part of the problem that I have, some people who are confused, is I used to hang out with some internet marketers. I was starting to do that stuff and it created problems. I made money. What I'm doing now, going back 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012-ish blending, talk about myself in the third person, is much more satisfying because I know over the long term it's gonna be way more successful. I am not only telling you to do this stuff and to think like this, it is something that I am putting into practice. Like Hustlers Kung Fu, you know, I did a lot of testing, looked at a lot of stuff, and now, it's like, okay, we're ready to put all this stuff together. We're ready to create this new level of training. And it's, it's gonna be dope because it's gonna benefit people, it's gonna make money, it's going to create better outcomes, and it's gonna, it's gonna last a long time. You know, it's gonna last so much longer. But it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be very, very hard. Everybody can't come on this journey. Everyone isn't built for this journey. And that's cool. That's just fine and dandy. So just, you know, for those of you who are like emailing me, hitting me up in the DMs, like, Glendon, what's going on? You're not talking about this hustling stuff anymore. And you're right. I have eight years of hustle content on this channel. I don't need to make any more. Future videos are gonna be more about strategy. They're gonna be about things that you need to do. And if you don't have the basics down, you won't be able to use these strategies. I saw this thing about, you know, making everything simple and easy to understand. There is a problem with making everything simple and easy to understand. Once you do that, it becomes a commodity. It becomes pedestrian. And what happens with things that are commodities and pedestrian, the price drops. There's no value. People don't appreciate, you know, corn is good. Corn's a commodity. Wheat's good. Wheat's a commodity. Gold is a commodity, but it's a high value commodity. And unless you like gold or silver or, you know, oil, these are the commodities. It's always about that price because if it's a commodity, that means it's common. So I don't want to teach people how to build common businesses. That's the thing. You know, there'll be more case studies and stuff like that. So if you're feeling this content, and some of you will be and some of you won't be, and that's cool, be sure to subscribe to the channel. 
And also, go below and get on my email list. Yes, it's an email list. It's not a update list. That's where I do free giveaways, offers, and stuff like that. And I'll update you with products and things because uh, a lot of cool stuff is going down. All right, this is Blendon. I will catch you later.